Welcome, we're on experiment 18 and I am just in the process of putting this circuit together. Um, I'm trying out something a little different this time around. This is a, a, a much larger experiment, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and record uh, the construction process of this thing and I'll probably put it on some sort of fast forward cycle so you can kind of see how it evolves and what's involved in uh, testing it out. So, see you in a little bit. Okay, so uh, this is what uh, figure 435 uh, on experiment 18 looks like. And it looks like we have wired up, I haven't actually read most of this, which is probably a bad idea. Um, it looks like we've wired up the segments that control probably just one digit. Um, and this is kind of a rat's nest of wires actually. I was surprised how easy it was to make a mistake. Um, I'm not sure if you will have seen in the fast forward just before, but um, there was a couple times where I literally put the wire in the completely wrong spot and in fact one time I didn't even realize it for a few more wires till I was going to put uh, something on the uh, pin, what is this, pin, the bottom left corner of this 4026 chip is pin 8 and that's supposed to be ground and I put the ground one uh, one pin up. So needless to say, be very careful when you're wiring up these guys because there are a lot of pins and it's very easy to see uh, incorrectly. So let me just confirm uh, that we are uh, ready to power up something because this is a lot of work to not actually, you know, see sparks, see something happen. So it looks like we need to throw nine volts at this guy. What I, w what I wish they would have done is actually provide a real circuit diagram. Maybe they do later on. Um, they kind of do. Yeah, like figure 437 here. Um, okay, so what we're looking to do, I believe, is throw down a um, nine volt supply on this guy and push the button, basically, and see what happens. So. Hell, let's do it. Bring this guy up. Make sure these are these are pushed in. That's kind of weird, isn't it? We've got so the power supply shows we're drawing about. Um, 50 milliamps at 9 volts. So, let me stand up here while I'm watching this. So, it looks like we might have some mistakes. 0, 1, 2, 3, well, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Oh, likes to jump. 
But that's pretty cool. I guess once you kind of cycle through, the uh, miscounts disappeared there because initially, as we saw, we had kind of this half, half two digit. And the book warns that sometimes when you push the switch, it might jump a couple digits real quick. That's pretty, pretty responsive though, as you can tell. Cool. Very cool. So um, that is step two uh, of experiment 18 for counting. And there's a, quite a lot of possibilities once you um, hook up something like this, because once you can count, um, at least in my mind, what I'm starting to think about is things like, um, you know, maybe you have some sort of a temperature sensor that you can use to drive a, a Fahrenheit or Celsius degree uh, display. Um, or, gosh, I don't know, there's, there's all sorts of things. Maybe um, you could create some sort of... A, some sort of brightness checker based on the, the light in the, the sky using a, some sort of photo sensor, right? So the brighter it is, the, the higher or maybe the lower, depending on your scale, uh, the numeric display would be. And so then you just have to figure out on a real bright sunny day, what's that number? And on a real dark, you know, at nighttime, I guess, what's that number? So you, you could kind of get a scale of brightness. So yeah, lots of, uh, lots of interesting things cross Cross my mind here now that we can actually have some sort of more informative feedback on our circuits. And I think later on in this experiment, um, they do address, I think they do, um, that issue right there where like depending on how you hold the button it might skip a couple of numbers like that. But yeah, really cool that it's very like pretty much as, as fast as you can push it it responds, which is cool. No lag. So, alright. I will see you guys on Experiment 18 Part 2.